let's see. Uh, a lot of people don't know who Linda Frick is. Say her but, name, Ock. Yeah. Evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Whitney Miller. Tomorrow, jury selection will begin in the Linda Fricky case. Three of the four suspects will go on trial. Fricky was killed in a brutal carjacking last year. Eleanor Tabone spoke with Fricky's sister as the family prepares for the trial. Now, if you know nothing about this case, hit one if you know nothing about this case. Hit one if you have no idea what this case is about. I have no idea. She had a One. terrible deal. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let's just, let's just, let's just let the chat. Hold on, Let me just. I just want to see. All right, all you guys don't know. You've never heard of this trial. I ain't Who never heard of it. Who do you think did it? Who do you think did it? Sunman. <laughs> oh man, it's so hard. I don't know, man. It's kind of. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Brown Sugar. I don't know. I was just going to say it was a terrible. She had a terrible deal. Oh, well, if you need someone to explain it, she was uh, carjacked, well, beaten out of her car by, uh, I think, two son boys and two son girls, uh, and then uh, caught in her seatbelt while the son man or son kid carjacked the car, dragged, uh, drove oh. down the street, and uh, she was detached from her arm and killed. And in the she was of the naked road. as well. Yeah, I do remember this. And shit were dragged off. So I they drug her like the KKK was dragging people ostensibly. <laughs> Damn. They took her for a ride. In a brutal carjacking last year, Eleanor Tabone spoke with Fricky's sister as the family prepares for the trial. Linda did not uh, deserve to die like that. No one does. Linda Fricky was carjacked in Mid-City in March of last year. The 73-year-old was dragged by her own car. She died after her arm got caught in a seatbelt and was severed as the car pulled off. Her sister, Ginny Lynn Griffin, is visiting her sister's gravesite before trial begins. Every time. Look at these animals. I mean, these, <laughs> these goddamn the only way to describe this opportunistic <laughs> predator, you know, she was sitting in her car, which we all know here, people here know better than that. But she was sitting in her car. Salute to um, Deluxe 247, aka the real MVP, coming through once again. Salute to my man Eric S, uh, rookie of the year, <laughs> Nation Hall of Famer, man, coming through once again. Salute to y'all too, man. Um, I really love to see some some new names on the board, man. I appreciate the I appreciate the all of famers, man, coming through with the home runs. Let, let's let's see some singles, man, and some doubles from some players trying to work their way up for the right. minor leagues, man. Somewhere behind. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, some <laughs> knock some of these runners in, man. Look at these. Look at these goddamn yeah you know y'all know y'all don't know I love baseball baseball is my favorite sport as a kid man I couldn't play a lick man coach um coach told me I couldn't hit a um he said I I couldn't um I couldn't hit the side of a barn with a with a, <laughs> with a, with a um with a, with a beach ball or some shit he just yo what, what team do you like oh what team did you grow up liking I, I was an Orioles fan until um 2004. Um, when we got to watch the Nationals, and then I immediately dropped the Orioles like a bad habit. And, um, <laughs> I used to go to Orioles games when I was a kid. My, my 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 uncle and my big brother through the big brother brothers and sisters program. My big brother Lauren, he would take me to um, games um, at Camden Yards Memorial Stadium. I've been to a bunch of baseball games, man, as a kid. You've been to Wrigley, or oh, you listen to Urban Chicago, right? It's pretty nice, bro. Wrigley feels oh, very nice. I've 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 only been to a baseball game at Camden Yards or Memorial Stadium. I've never been to another stadium, or um except for um Nats Park, the DC. But yeah, that's why I always do the baseball analogy because baseball. I had a, I had a baseball collection. I, my first job was at a um, baseball card store, Bonanza, Coins and Cards in um, Silver Spring. When I was thirteen, I used to work there. And helped them out at the card shows and all that stuff because I I love baseball cards. I was a baseball card fanatic. I had a I had a baseball card collection like fucking like one of those fucking displays at the fucking card shows and shit. Right. They used to be a, they used to be a big deal. 
Yeah, Morgan. yeah, yeah. All the Beckett's. I had the Beckett card, the Beckett books, and all you know, the prices of all the cards and shit, and all that shit, man. That was my thing when I was like 13, 14, maybe right. like even in the 15. But after that, I got into other shit. But um, yeah, yeah, but I love baseball, man. Um in March of last year, the 73 73- look at these animals, man. Look at these fucking animals, man. God, how do we get on baseball? Um, man, I like animals. I can't even count on that. <laughs> I like horses, you know, and dogs. Yeah, don't be These motherfuckers are clowns. Way, uh, these motherfuckers are animals. Animal. These are demons. Yeah, these, these are like they, interdimensional they, extraterrestrials. These are more like clowns, if you ask me. No, yeah. clowns make people happy. These are demons. They're super gremlins, guys. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. where else are you going to find, like, 14 year old girls that'll fucking take your life in an instant without a thought. <laughs> yeah, girl. Like when I was at Penn State this weekend, those girls, I mean, they were like, when they would see me, like, they would like, I, it felt like I could have, like, no, no bullshit. Like, if I was around them in that capacity, I could have got some sympathy ass from like half of them. Just from being a son, man. Just from being like, like we were sitting there talking. I could be like, you know, what you don't? Would you? Would you ever? Um, do you like black guys? Oh yeah, I love black guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they were all so nice. I mean, nice, nice, nice. Like nice, 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 nice. nice. That's how it is out here in Colorado, <laughs> act. <laughs> Yo, I, 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 who in, who in Colorado? Colorado? I, I am Wardell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my, my Colorado is beautiful. But my thing about these clowns or these whatever super brownies on the screen, my, my my one of my biggest problems is that despite the despicable shit that they did right here, they could still immediately pull the victim card. Like immediately, instantly. Yeah. Like they did it because they're somehow victims. The driver may get charged as an adult, but I, I, you know, would not be surprised to see the other three are, are charged as juveniles or let off. Remember, the How? one is found incompetent to stand trial. Remember, the the one that's why there's only three yeah. people on trial. And he then one of them's gonna get the heat, the driver yeah. for sure. And you know, How does he? So, I, I don't know. I think they're, he, like they're all 15 juveniles. To 16. You know, fish, no yeah, one, no yeah. one's over the 16 at the time. Maybe nowadays, now I don't know how they are now, but at the time they were all like 16. I have no faith in uh, what's her name order? Kim, uh, is it mostly Garner? I have no faith no, in they, I, they, I don't, their prosecutor is, I forgot their prosecutor's name, but he's he's woke, so it, it's, it's the same shit everywhere. Three year old was dragged by her own car. She died after her arm got caught in a seatbelt and was severed as the car pulled off. Her sister, Ginny Lynn Griffin, is visiting her sister's gravesite before trial begins. Every time we come to the gravesite, it is um, very emotional. Um, I was really close with my sister, Linda, and, you know, it's really hard thinking that I wasn't there to help her. The 14's accused. Oh, you didn't want to be there. <laughs> you killed you, too. Yeah, man. Um, oh, yeah, shout out to, um, who's my favorite player? My favorite player. Growing up was Cal Ripken, man. Without a doubt, man. Cal Ripken was my favorite player growing up, man. Um, so yeah, um, Cal was number one for me, man, all the time. Really hard thinking that I wasn't there to help her. The 14's accused, John Honore, Brenaya Baker, Marquel Curtis, and Lenaira Theophile are all being charged as adults. Theophile's trial is being delayed for two months after being found incompetent. For us. We feel that definitely the two in the front seat should have a um, lifetime in jail. Standing by her sister's resting place, Ginny Lynn says she's full of emotions. She should be flayed some anxiety, alive. Some nervousness, um, you know, every emotion but happiness um, because it's just sorrow that my sister's gone. And to think about the way she went and to have to sit through the trials, listening and seeing all the different descriptions of how she went is knowing that that's going to be heart wrenching. She says she will be in court every day till everything is over because all she wants is justice for her sister.
with the trial starting, we're going to go. We're going to go there. We're going to make sure she gets justice. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. I would say just go ahead. Just Hi. fuck it. Grab the tire. And thanks so much for joining us. You said what? Just grab the tire. Fuck it. Let's be done with it. Yeah, man. Don't forget.